Damn it. Damn it. Swear jar. The swear jar is all the money we have to send you to college. So you should be happy I curse. Well, if you can curse, then we all can curse. Is that what you want? For the next minute only, you can curse. Then Harry Balls. <laughs> the movie itself deals with a lot of really big issues, massive issues, family, loss, faith. Um, what made you want to deal with those kind of at this stage in your life? What made you want to tackle them? When I wrote Garden State, I just was writing about what I was thinking about and feeling. And I, I said, this, this won't be for everyone, but surely there's some people out there that can relate to these feelings I had. And that's what my brother and I did uh, with this film. We said, you know, it, it won't necessarily be everyone, but there'll be peop there have to be other people out there that can relate to these things that we're questioning, whether it be our own spirituality, uh, our father 79, the, the terror of, of having to, to deal with the, the loss of, of him as our patriarch and our best friend. And um, that whole idea of, wow, I don't even really know completely who I am, and yet it's time to teach these young little faces about life. I'm gonna be laid up for a while. I'm gonna need you to watch Coco. Oh, there's so much bad news all at once. The first thing I wanted to ask you about was was Gabe, the character uh, himself. He's, he seems like a gift to an actor. What was it that appealed to you about playing the part? It was close to me. You know, I'm a dad. I have two sons, 31, 27. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I want to say everything to them in the world. Here I'm in a fictional tale where I can try to imbue into this glorious script that uh, Zach and his brother wrote. My feelings, my heart, things in between the lines, stuff in my eyes, that when I am gone one day, and I will be as we all will be, that maybe my kids or my grandchildren will, um, will see this and see their grandpa playing a grandpa in a movie, saying what he had to say, making mistakes, and learning that life is short, and, uh, and, you, and you gotta step up to the plate. What's happening? This. Oh what my the You let her shave her face! No, I was just innocently playing video games with the boy one. Tucker! Tucker, great kid. Well, I wanted to start by asking you um, about your character. He's a little more serious than a lot of people are, are kind of used to seeing you play. What is it that appealed to you about playing the part? I'm always looking for a challenge uh, whenever I choose a job. And, you know, this movie to me uh, was particularly challenging because he's a character who can be seen as um, very unlikable at times. And he's dealing with a lot of issues uh, relating to family and his place within that family hierarchy. And so what attracted me to it is taking a character that starts from this low place and kind of building him up in a way that the audience would have, would go along with some sort of catharsis for him and sympathize hopefully with him. And so for me that was really what attracted me to it is, is the challenge of trying to create a character as fully realized as that. You can pick anyone you want, just as long as it's unique and amazing like you. you we have to talk about it, your hair in, in the movie. So did you, you actually cut it, I'm guessing, because your hair is short? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, was that daunting, or was this that kind of exciting for you? This is September's Rope, okay. when I shaved it. <laughs> um, but wait, uh, what was your question? Um, was it daunting for you to do that, or was it exciting to get a chance to do that? It's kind of both at the same time. I was very nervous, um, but I think that it turned out pretty... I, I, I think it turned out good. I've shaved my head before for a different movie, for Dark Knight Rises. Um, so getting to shave it for this one, Zach, Zach was like, will you be willing to shave your head? And I was like, are you serious? But I was like, of course, you know, why not? I liked having short hair, and I still like having short hair, but I do miss my hair. Your boys will remember this time for the rest of their lives. It will shape who they are as men. Life is a mess. We all make mistakes. This is a movie about that. It's about celebrating life. It's about being there, not, you know, wishing that you were here, but being there. It's, it's a wake-up movie. When we were kids, my brother and I used to pretend that we were heroes, the only ones who could save the day. But maybe we're just the regular people, the ones who get saved. 